So beyond Revit architecture, I mean, you, you, you were saying when you think about the portfolio, are there other significant things that you think are in the 2013 release? Very much so. If you're on the building, uh, building design suites, what you end up getting, once you get to the premium and also to the ultimate for the building portion, is something that's been referred to as Revit One Box. So if you buy Revit Architecture you know, last year, you got Revit Architecture and you got all the features and tools from there. However, there was still certain functionality that was only present in either Revit, build, uh, sorry, Revit Structure or Revit MEP. And if you're a smaller shop, you can only afford maybe one discipline. Or if you're a larger shop, you'd have to buy separate licenses for each discipline and they couldn't be interchanged. With the new one, with you know, one box, essentially you have one install of Revit, which makes it easier from a management standpoint for IT. It also gives you all of the features throughout all three disciplines. So you don't have to start managing different licenses or different license pools. You have the one program, the architect can now model certain content that they need that might not be architectural, but if they're trying to coordinate, they have those features and they have that ability. So within Revit One Box, I actually have Revit Architecture, Revit MEP, and Revit Structure all running at the same time within one interface. Correct. That's going to be a big change to the to the industry. There's going to be a lot of value there. I, I definitely feel that way. Yeah. 